Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Wired. In this leak code series, we are going to see about the problem number 11 container with most water. So, in this problem, we are going to find the maximum width and the minimum height. The water can be stored in that width. Okay, so we will see the solution and uh, using the given array and how we need to find that particular area the maximum area to store water in that container we'll see the solution now so this problem can be solved in a brute force way as well but i'm going to solve this particular problem in the optimal way in order of n time and with the constant space okay now we'll see how to solve this particular problem I'm going to use the uh, approach called two pointers where I will be having left pointer and the right pointer okay in this problem we need to find the minimum width So we need to find the minimum width here and the max we need to return maximum area okay so we know the given input is height okay the given input or height the width can be taken by using this left and right pointer by just subtracting right minus L okay the maximum width can be found using that and the minimum height can be found find using the height as we move the left and right pointer okay we'll see that approach now so this is left and right pointer first I will check the minimum value in this particular between left and right pointer okay so here it's 1 and 7 I will take this as the minimum value so I will be getting 1 as the minimum height so at, at least the maximum height amount of water can be stored is 1 here okay in this container then i will take this width so it's r minus l then i multiply this particular so this is the width and this is the height okay i'm going to multiply these two so i'm going to do r minus l into the minimum of 1 comma 7 so in this scenario for the width can be calculated using this indices whenever you uh, you have an idea of width you have to think from using the uh, indices array indices whenever they say uh, they give give you the input as the uh, in as an array if the question expects you to use the width then it is the best approach you use the indices of the given array so here I will take 8 minus 0 so 8 into minimum 1 so this is my maximum area that can be stored the water can be stored so 8 I will keep this one as of right now then I will check if the left pointer value is greater than the right pointer value since we need the maximum of water can be stored we have to move that into that particular direction here this is greater right so 
I am going to move the left pointer to the right. So I am going to increase. I am going to increase my left pointer. Then again. Now. Minimum of. 8 comma 7. I will be getting 7. Then I will take R minus L. Which is nothing but 7 again. Then I will multiply. Let me say this is A. Let me say this is B. Then I will multiply. A into B. Okay. And maximum. I will take the maximum of this and the previously seen. So previously we saw the answer as 8. Right. So I'm previously so i'm going to get the maximum of the previous pre, previous maximum value and the current value if this is greater and this is going to be 49 and this is 8 so the maximum value has changed the max value is 49 now so that's how we are going to do solve this particular problem and this problem is order of n time and order of one space. So that's how we solve this particular problem. Now we will see the code. Now we will see how we will code this particular problem. I'm going to have left and right pointers. So zero and the last index. Then I will have the max C, the max C as I'm just giving. Initially, I have minus infinity. Okay. So now I'm going to use a while loop to iterate. So as I said, I'm having a variable A which takes the minimum of the current values then this will take the width, B will take the width which is nothing but a right minus left now we will have result variable which takes the maximum of max c comma the current area and also we need to check if my left variable is less than my right variable right value then I said we need to move towards the maximum value okay here I will move my left pointer to the right and if my left right pointer is less than my left pointer value then I will move my right pointer towards left pointer now I will return the value I forgot to make this we have to keep this as maxi since maxi has to change so 
I have to keep max is equal to. Yeah. Now I'm also change the return into max e. Now it should work. Now we will hope for the best. Worked. So this problem is optimal. And if you like this particular video, please like and subscribe and also check out my previous videos of the leak course series. And also if you are interested, also check my linear algebra and for the data science people who are interested and keep supporting happy learning cheers